For decades, Mars has been our top candidate for humanity's next frontier, but what if there's a better option? Proxima Centauri b, a rocky exoplanet orbiting the closest star to our solar system, has sparked the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. Could this mysterious world hold the key to humanity's long-term survival? Or is it too distant and dangerous to be practical? In this video, we'll dive into the science, challenges, and possibilities of colonizing Proxima Centauri b and compare it to the Red Planet. Is Proxima Centauri b truly humanity's future, or is Mars still the best bet? Let's explore the cosmos and find out. Proxima Centauri b is a rocky exoplanet located just over 4.2 light-years away, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. It's roughly 1.2 times the mass of Earth and lies in its star's habitable zone, a region where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. Sounds promising, right? But there's more to consider. The planet's close proximity to its star means it's likely tidally locked, with one side in perpetual daylight and the other in eternal darkness. This creates extreme temperature contrasts and could pose significant challenges for habitability. However, scientists speculate that a twilight zone, the area between light and dark, might have stable, temperate conditions. Still, this is all theoretical for now. On the other hand, Mars is right here in our cosmic backyard. It's cold, dusty, and barren but we've studied it extensively. Robotic missions have mapped its surface, studied its atmosphere, and even found evidence of ancient water. We know Mars has frozen water at its poles and underground, which is a critical resource for future colonists. Unlike Proxima Centauri b, Mars doesn't have the added hurdle of interstellar travel. It's just a seven-month trip away using current technology, and we've already begun developing the infrastructure for potential colonization. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, distance. Proxima Centauri b is 4.2 light-years away. With our current fastest spacecraft, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach. Even with breakthrough propulsion technologies like laser sails or fusion drives, we're still looking at decades of travel time for a one-way trip. Then there's the issue of the star itself. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf known for intense solar flares, which could strip the planet's atmosphere or bombard its surface with deadly radiation. While Mars has no magnetic field, making it vulnerable to radiation too, we've already developed solutions like underground habitats and radiation shielding to address this issue. So why bother with Proxima Centauri b at all? The key lies in its potential. If it has a stable atmosphere, liquid water, and a survivable climate, it could provide a long-term home for humanity, a true Earth 2.0. Colonizing Mars is achievable, but it's not exactly a paradise. Proxima Centauri b offers the possibility of something more Earth-like, albeit with significant uncertainties. So which is better? Mars is the practical choice. It's close, we understand it well, and we're already making progress toward colonization. Proxima Centauri b, while exciting, remains speculative. Until we can confirm its habitability and develop interstellar travel, it's more of a long-term dream than a near-term goal. In the end, Mars is the stepping stone we need to master before setting our sights on distant worlds like Proxima Centauri b. It's a bridge to the stars. A chance to prove we can thrive beyond Earth. The question of whether Proxima Centauri b is better than Mars for humanity's future might not have a clear answer today, but what's certain is that exploring both opens doors to endless possibilities. Each step we take, whether on Mars or in interstellar space, brings us closer to securing humanity's place among the stars. What do you think? Should we focus on the red planet or set our sights on Proxima Centauri b? Let us know in the comments below, your perspective fuels the discussion. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos about space, science, and the future of humanity. Thanks for watching, and keep reaching for the stars.